Live or die by the sword. Okay. So. Um. First things we're gonna do. Uh, Thrust setting sun. Um. Guard? No. We're gonna go ahead and do Fountain of the Saint. Uh, guard, attack, break, and then guard. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot of buffs. Oh, so he waits as well. Um, we're just gonna remove all that stuff. Um, I definitely want to keep 80. Uh, what do I think he's gonna do? Man, I could get some... I'm gonna just attack a bunch. I don't expect Lubu to guard a whole lot. That could be bad. Oh, this could be bad. That's okay, though. Ooh, that crit. We'll go and heal. Um, honestly, I feel like we just attack a bunch. Um, he does so much damage, though. Although we have Thrust Setting Sun. Um, we're going to attack a bunch, and on... We're just gonna straight up attack. We have Thrust Setting Sun in case anything bad happens. Maybe I should have started by attacking, actually. like we'd do that. Theater the Deranged and I'm gonna wait and use that on this. Yeah, attack. Blah, I don't know what that does. Attack. Attack. Oh, that's what that is. That's a noble phantasm. This is gonna hurt. Cover. Um, attack. Ooh. No, we 
definitely want to heal. Uh, I have not that. Recover. Blossom of the Court. While we can. And go ahead and throw setting sun again. We have 23, so we'll save that. Um, if we... Um... Yeah, we should be okay. I need to clear those buffs. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Uh, definitely didn't hear anything about God Force, by the way. don't have a way uh, I could we definitely have to heal um, attack attack break I mean he's very close to dying um, Just do that. No. Um. We do have three of them. Let's do that. You know, we haven't. Um. That way we'll heal. I need to clear those buffs before we kill. Cause I think. No more Nero music. Um, no. And we're gonna just go ahead and this surely will kill. I don't think I needed to use the elixir there. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, we almost leveled up from that. Very close. Redacted! An explosive roar rips through the silence of the Colosseum. More redacted! The crazed warrior's death growls, or growl shakes the earth, and yet that massive frame gradually disintegrates into thin air.
The next moment, tranquility dominates the Colosseum once again. The demise of the servant who's been her companion this whole time does not faze Ronnie. She whispers something as she traces the back of her hand, where her command spells used to be, or command seals. It can only last so long, her fingertip is already disintegrating. Ronnie, you got something on your face. Oh, that's just death. She mumbles quietly as she raises her head, a slight smile on her face. <laughs> it's over, isn't it? The vanishing girl's lips, mouth, goodbye. With hollow eyes and a sad little smile, Ronnie disappears. Not even a hint of her fragrance remains under this virtual sea. And our innocent little saber is sleeping. She did just shank a bitch though, just saying. Berserker, Ronnie, Godforce, the five warriors of Guan Yu. Gate Halbert shot, red hair. Yeah, so apparently though, now that we're at the post-battle screen here, apparently you can hear Ronnie say Godforce or something like that. Um, I didn't hear it once. Um, maybe I was misinformed, or maybe I'm just going crazy. Who knows? Um, but, Lubu hits like a truck, that's for sure. Honestly, not that bad. So far, the worst... Um, fight might be assassin. No, it's probably not even assassin. It's probably Lancer, honestly. Huh. Gate Halberd Sean. Lubu excelled at archery and was especially adept at shooting from horseback, earning him the nickname the Flying General. He was very close to Louis Bei, one of the heroes of the Three Kingdoms era of Chinese history, and considered him to be his brother. When Lu Bei found his army surrounded by Jing Ling, an ally of Lu Bu, Lu Bu went alone to meet with the heads of the opposing side in an effort to stop the impeding bloodshed. Upon arriving at the gate, Jing Ling's encampment, he ordered that the halberd be set to the ground 150 paces away from where he stood. He then turned to the two leaders and said the following, I will shoot an arrow, and if it hits the small blade sticking out from the side of that halberd, you withdraw your forces immediately. If I miss, you are free to slaughter each other down to the last man. Both the earth and the heavens aligned in perfect harmony, and Lu Bu's arrow hit the intended target, forcing Jing Ling to withdraw his forces. Red Hair, aka Horseman Horse. Um, for those that uh, play Fate Grand Order, ugh. Creepy Horseman Horse. Among men, Lu Bu, among horses, Red Hair. As Lu Bu was considered the most powerful warrior in China, he uh, so was his most favorite horse, considered the most powerful steed to be found in any of the major kingdoms. The animal would allow no other person to ride it, or even allow anyone but Lu Bu to handle its reins. Its physical prowess was also legendary. It has been said that Lu Bu managed to jump across a 30 meter wide moat while riding where, uh, red hair. Well, he is horseman horse, so that makes sense. Fortitude gives one the ability to negate any type of mental interference. It also improves the damage done by melee attacks and increases one's bravery. However, as Lubu was summoned as a berserker, the importance of his bravery has been made moot. Restless Soul Gives one the temperament of a lone wolf, unable and unwilling to settle in one place or serve one master. This person will never be able to follow greatness, yet is incapable of finding greatness on his own. This skill negates the effect of the charisma skills of the same rank. Lubu, the traitorous general mentioned in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. 
While he had considerable success on the field of the battle, his legacy will be forever stained by his callous betrayal of the two men who took him in as a son. His military prowess elevated him to one of the strongest generals of the Three Kingdoms. Through his inability to trust or follow lead, uh, led to his downfall, his lack of judgment was such that he slew Ding Yong, one of the first of the many confidants he betrayed. At the urgings of Dong Zhao, who was once frequently referred to as Demon Warlord, but once again, Lu Bu's true nature emerged and he ended up slaying Zhang Zhao. After the second act of treason, he wandered around the prominence of North China, attempted, or attempting to bring them all under his do, uh, domination. However, his inability to rule led for his capture and executed by the General Cao Cao. In the end, it was Lu, Bu, uh, Lu Bu's hubris that brought him down, as he believed that he was the mightiest general alive and that no one could defeat him. And although his patron, Shen Gong, was disappointed and disillusioned by him, he was able to use Lu Bu in his own uh, machinations until his student's death. <coughs> Save of progress. But of course... So yeah, honestly, I figured that was going to take a little longer. I thought we... I honestly expected us to lose to Lu Bu. Um, I was expecting to get destroyed um so there is that so next week uh we start the technically the final week in the game um i don't know how long it's gonna take i don't know how long week seven is compared to the other weeks i would imagine it's not nearly as long because there's not a whole lot to do um and we'll go from there if anyone has any tips or anything for saber because uh, it's absolutely who we're fighting, because there's no way it's not going to be um, uh, Leo. Um, also, you know, he's pretty much the only one left. Uh, so, or at least the only one, well, I guess he is the only one left at this point, unless somehow Nameless Guy beats him, but I don't see that being a thing, uh, not in a million years. So, all in all, uh, week six was okay. Um, so, like I said, next week, we'll start week seven. Um, I'm going to try to get through as much of it as I can. I want to be finished with extra um, within the next few weeks. I definitely want to be done with it by the end of this month. Um, I don't see a reason why we're not. Um, unless there is just a lot to do on week 7. And maybe if there's an epilogue. I don't know if week 7 is the actual final week or if there is um, another like set of... Uh, another like week after week seven or if it's just like the end of week seven and then there's the epilogue i would imagine there's some sort of ending to it though so but yeah that's going to do it for this week um i appreciate everyone for watching we're back to a normal stream schedule as well um now that the apoc rays have gone on we'll be back to riza so if you're interested in seeing atelier riza and something something uh hideout i can't remember its full name uh check out the streams um so yeah i appreciate everyone for watching and i'm gonna catch you guys next time